everybody, welcome to the newest episode of Small Bites Cooking for Kids. My name's Heather and I'm a children's librarian at the East End branch of the Richmond Public Library. Today I thought I'd show you guys how to make an egg in a basket. Now if you haven't heard of egg in a basket, it's basically a slice of toast with a hole cut in the middle and in that hole you cook an egg. So when you're done you kind of have a piece of egg toast and it might go by other names also, um, but I've always called it an egg in a basket. So it's really easy to make, um, not very many ingredients at all, but it does require uh, use of an oven and your pan. So if you're on the younger side, you might wanna, you might wanna get with your grown-ups and let them know um, that you're gonna need your, their help for this one when you're dealing with the hot stuff. Before we get started, I'm gonna show you the things that you're gonna need for this. Uh, the first thing, of course, is gonna be your egg. So an egg. Um, you're gonna need a frying pan, I like this one. You're of course gonna need your stove. Um, I have a hot plate here that you'll see in a little bit, so you can use that too if that's what you have, but um, something hot that you can cook on. Uh, you will need oil to put a little oil in your pan so your stuff doesn't stick to it. You'll need a little bit of butter. You don't need a whole tub like this, but just enough butter to cover both sides of a piece of bread. Um, that's how much butter you'll need. You'll need the bread, of course, and you can use whatever kind of bread that you have. Um, this is what I happen to have on hand, uh, but, and it's pretty thin, but you could use thicker bread too, wheat bread, uh, whatever kind of bread you like, you can use for this. It doesn't really matter a whole lot, but as long as you have some kind of bread, you're good. You're gonna need a spatula to flip when we're cooking. You're gonna need something about this size that will cut through a piece of bread. What I'm gonna do with this little glass is go into the middle of our bread and twist it so it cuts a circle out in the middle of our bread to put our egg in. So it doesn't have to be exactly this size, but as long as it's kind of close to this um, for you to put your egg in, something that'll kind of cut through your bread like that. Not that. You're gonna need a butter knife to spread your butter. And then also, um, I'm gonna put my butter in a little bowl like this, because a, a hint to make things go a little more easily is if your butter is really cold, it can be hard to spread on your bread. So I'm gonna soften mine up a little bit in this bowl, um, so that way when I spread it, it goes on really easily. Uh, I think I've covered everything here. Um, then I also have just a little plate to put my, my finished uh, toast on. Um, so I've got everything, so I'm gonna get it all set up and then I'll come right back to you guys and I'll show you how to make an egg in a basket. See you in a minute. All right everybody, welcome back. Uh, I've gotten everything together and I hope you have all your stuff ready too. Um, you can see I've got my egg, my bread, my spatula, my butter, which is softened. So I recommend if your butter is really cold, um, like I said before, it's a good idea to soften it just so it's a little easier to spread. And I've got my pan, I put a little bit of oil in it and I got my hot plate. So we are all ready to go. So as I mentioned, step one is buttering the bread. So we're gonna take our butter knife and move my egg over to the side for a minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and spread the butter on our bread. Now I, um, while I was getting things ready, I went ahead and turned on my hot plate. So it's warming up right now. So by the time we're done with our butter and cutting our hole in our bread and all that stuff, we should be ready to go ahead and put the, put the toast on the pan. So I'm kind of like grilled cheese. I don't know if you've made grilled cheese before, but when you do that, you usually try to get the butter like on all parts of the bread. So that's what I'm trying to do here also. So it gets all tasty and toasty and stuff. Now some people cut the hole in the bread first, and you could do that too if you wanted to. I think it's just easier to spread on one solid surface, but in the end, it doesn't matter a whole, whole lot. I'm gonna flip it over, and a little bit of the butter on that other side will come off a little bit because we flipped it, but usually it's not enough to really make the difference in, in what we're doing. Okay, so we are looking good. So the next step after we do our butter, I'm gonna set that aside, is to cut the hole in our toast. So whatever you wanna cut with, I'm using this little, this little cup here. You can go ahead and put it in the middle of your toast and then just twist it around till you kind of feel it cut through the bread. Kind of like that. And then you have your little circle. You can take it out. I'm just gonna drop mine in there. And then you can see we have our little basket for our, our egg. So this should be warm enough now. I'm gonna spread the oil around a little bit. So we'll go ahead and plop our bread down. And there it goes. 
And then um, I have this kind of on medium, medium low heat, so I don't want it to burn. Uh, so I would recommend the same for you. I have a hot plate, and if you have a stove, um, same thing, just medium, medium low, and then you can kind of see it sizzling, so we know that it's cooking. But I just don't want, I made one earlier where I kind of burned the bottom a little bit, which I don't mind, but not everyone likes burnt toast. So, okay, we'll let that go for a minute here. I'm just gonna let the bottom get a little bit toasted. It's already turning kind of a golden color down there. Okay, so now we're gonna do our egg. I don't know how many eggs you've cracked before. I have a tendency um, to accidentally get little shell bits in there. So I'm gonna try my hardest not to do that for you guys today. Um, some people do it on the side of the pan. Um, it's a good idea to do it, uh, not necessarily on the side of the pan, but maybe on a solid surface like your table or a plate. Um, one, because you don't wanna knock your pan and kind of get burned. And also, if you do it on a flat surface, it's less likely to kind of split onto the side of the, onto the, side of the pan. So I kind of do like that. And then once we have it open, bring it over to the pan. And there we go, our egg is in our little basket and I did not get any eggshells in there, so yay for me. And if you did, you can just kind of pick them out with a fork or something like that. Not a huge deal, but it's nice when it works out in a way that you don't have eggshells in your eggs. One, two, three. Okay, there we go, that went well. I was nervous that it was gonna fold over. Um, but you can see it's kind of golden but not burnt and that's what we're going for on the other side too. Uh, so we'll let it hang out for a minute and then we will be done. too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my plate. And there we go. We have egg, an egg in a basket. <laughs> 